first called you about the possibility of going to Paris, did you take the, Did you even take me seriously? I mean, yeah, but I didn't think it was gonna be the next day. <laughs> oh yeah, that is true too. I mean, we start. I guess that uh, you're right, dude. We've started this conversation yesterday. Did I tell you the other biggest thing though too? <laughs> <Do> you, <laughs> the other big piece of the puzzle that is not complete is pretty much our more or less it's like a visa right for us to go over there and do this he's got it all written up but it's got to be signed by a specific person to get approved to give us the green light and it is 45 minutes before i need to leave for my first flight <laughs> a few moments later bruh we just got approved everything i think so bro oh my goodness is this really coming together right now now the government is gonna be like yeah let him in <laughs> and he said within 15 minutes we should have all the options oh let's go i feel bad for you bro i just appreciate you being supportive and just going along for the ride you know what i mean still on flight uh we don't really know what's going on uh but we got to make the first one to get down myself down to florida to link up with Sater and then uh, hopefully we'll get our flight figured out on the way to this flight. So, talk about cutting it close. So we are on flight number one. Um, little update is, right before I got on this flight, they finally booked the flight to Paris. As of right now, I think I'm good to go. Um, I don't know, I still have to get my COVID test in the morning, and then we obviously fly out tomorrow morning. Literally as I was walking down the aisle to get on my first flight to get down to Florida to meet up with Sater. If all goes well, we will be in Paris in a little over 24 hours. Uh, we are at the Atlanta airport. As I was told, it's a semi-factory KTM 250 that I'm going over there to ride. Uh, rider got hurt, and so I was on the alternate list, which honored to be on that alternate list. I did not know I was on the alternate list, but uh, you know, the B team is ready to represent Merck. Oh, this is it, man. Here we go. Pull up, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah dog. Where are we going? <laughs> we're going to Paris, baby. We 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 we. Alrighty, guys. So we are now at the airport. We got Sater right here. So this is kind of the situation. Is part of us being able to go overseas is we have to get a PCR test. It's like it's 175 dollars per test. It takes 60 minutes to get that, but that's the only thing that's going to be able to keep us from going to Paris very much. So. Kevin. Yeah, you. right here. Oh wait a minute. Last name. Kevin Calderona. <laughs> Mine's not Calderona. Yeah. Different Kevin. Bingo. Kevin, Peter, and Leslie will be in Hawaii. Peter will be in Hawaii. Leslie will be in Hawaii. Double nostril. <laughs> Bro, this is a shoulder work. Oh, that's mad realistic, though. Dude, that, that shoes look mad realistic. Or it's probably real shoes. It's probably real. 3193. I seem to be getting pretty good at making these last minute things happen. Uh, it's still not a done deal yet. Luckily, we were kind of able to make it happen. Um, and the team that wanted me to come over there and race for them, which apparently is the VHR KTM team, I've heard good things. Uh, from some pretty good sources, so we'll see. Um, other than that, just really excited because part of my deal to come over there is I, it was such a last minute thing and I'm trying to get out to California to get the Supercross training that uh, I wanted to make it worth it by uh, bringing my boy Sater with me. So, you know this vlog's about to pop off. Well, it's already almost Christmas. Yeah, it's for both of us. Because we're like on a team we go over there. See this, so start permission. Licensing. We can put a couple pit bike parts in there to bring back with us. That was mad stressful, I'm not gonna lie. I knew when we she asked for vaccine cards and she's like, I think you have to have them. Like when she murmured that, I'm like, dude, is that game over? Like when I pulled out that and I was like, this is from the French government. <laughs> yes, sir. I think she's like, oh, okay. Mini events. Finally, like security. Chug, 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 chug. All right, we're through security. Absolute mess with all the electronics we're taking. That's because Clutch Media is professional about it. Hey, look at that camera, bro. That thing is beefy. Like, if you're carrying that thing around, look at all the bubbles, bro. Look at the bubbles. Bubbles. 
<laughs> cool guy in it with the AirPods. <laughs> we are at Atlanta. So, next level is getting on the plane to Paris. The next stop is for D Games. D, as in David. Yo, I just saw somebody open this. I've never seen this before. We have a service animal center. What? What? They literally have a pie drip for them. Alright, this is our last little, last little bit. And three people, we're gonna know whether we're going to Paris or not. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 oh boy. 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 So yeah, I pretty much slept on the floor My Seder kind of slept in the three seats that we had up here. <laughs> That's the only way to do it, especially with, uh, I just can't sleep on planes, so that was kind of clutch. Uh, literally. We'll see how breakfast is. We got ourselves a little McMuffin, little fruit cups, a little juice. Bon appétit. That's great, isn't it? We're getting ready to get tested. Test number three? Yeah. So we gotta get this COVID test to get technically your, it's like a QR code that allows you to go to restaurants and go into different buildings and stuff around here. That's what they have going on. Boy, that was like the first one super cross one. That was intense. It's really gnarly. People don't realize the tickles. Oh my God. Look at the track for the first time and uh, jump through all these hoops to get over here. I have not spoken a single word to the team I'm racing for. So I'm hoping to be able to meet them sooner rather than later so I can get everything figured out, check out the bike, and dude, that, that looks sick. Oh, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. All right, we got some sand rollers instead of whoops. Should get in this. one set up with a little bit more so then because I'll we'll just stick with this one when I go out to for practice but if I take off and start and I'm wheeling a little bit too much it'd be nice to have one set up to throw on if you like <laughs> okay okay dang that's nice that thing is massive can we just lock ourselves up <gasps> you gotta put your back into that <laughs> Yo, it's, it's about time. I mean, it only took us 30 minutes, 45 minutes to get here. Dude, that thing is huge. We stopped, asked like 12 different pretty girls, you know what I mean? Because that's who you have to ask for directions. And everybody gave us different directions and different routes to go, and different places to stop, different places to walk. So it took forever. But it was worth it in the end. But we have to get back to the hotel because it is going on 10.30 right now. We're going to get over to the stadium in the morning to look at suspension and kind of get the bike finalized. And then we got to practice. So, time to go to bed. <laughs> Disappears. <laughs> oh, it's back to life. <laughs> One hour of sleep is what it looks like. <laughs> That's what it does. Down. <laughs> All right. 
so we're heading to the stadium to go talk to our team. Uh, whole team is supposed to be there now. They're getting some suspension swapped over and get some suspension set up for Supercross because the stuff on there isn't quite set up for what they want me to have. Uh, Much better. Uh, did you like some grip like this? Yeah, I wouldn't mind it. So US helmet? Yeah. What if they have different technology here? Oh, yeah. I have to put a label there. Here, there. What do you um work? Of course. Can you put it back here? Yeah, yeah that works. Okay, thanks. Yep. Okay, hello, uh, okay, super. Vous avez des ristons? Uh, Jean Rubien, si vous en avez. Madame Ristan. Allez, parfait. I'm in a different country. Alrighty, so I haven't asked yet, but see this right here? That would fit. I brought one from America. The old patrons, you know? They go international with me. I'm gonna see if they'll let me put it on the bike. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. This graphic is supposed to like it's set up to go right here. Because yeah. nothing else really goes there. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. So hell yeah. Just put some yeah, the other Patreon's getting in on it. <laughs> Perfect time. Right here, baby. Right here. If you're a Patreon, you'd be coming to, to France with me, you know what I mean? It's looking a little soft. Not gonna lie. We want that for cornering and everything, but there's actually a couple of those, like those three ends that I'm gonna have to seat bounce that you don't want it too soft for, or else you're gonna have a kick forward motion. Having too soft a suspension could hinder you from getting the big lines. <laughs> we'll start right there. The bars might have to come up just a touch, but I, I kind of want to ride it around a little bit with this, like this, whatever. So I'll do, because we get two practice sessions today, right? Exactly. How far apart are they? Uh, maybe one hour or 30 minutes, something like this. Oh, so we have a good amount of time. Yeah. I didn't know if it was like 15 minutes and then boom, go again or what. We start with it. It was pretty good. I don't want to go to a 53 sprocket too, because I'm kind of out yeah, of the corners in second. Oh, you didn't grab a 53? Oh boy. We can maybe go a little bit stiffer in the rear, because when I come off the big uh, finish line and I hit that G out, it kind of G's out and then lifts and then I get kind of squirrely. It doesn't track, so I'm thinking maybe a little bit stiffer. It's rocky dude, like there's some rocks out there so like the ruts are getting like chewed up. I would, I don't know, it's more like an east coast right now, it's getting kind of rutted and getting rutted pretty good actually so. Uh, he's the one that won the championship in the GP, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. One thing that 
how it might have made that like point three or four seconds off the off of you uh -huh. is that like wall jump in the back. Yeah, he's he was doubling that it. every time. I don't know if that's faster. I think it is think just it is. to carry your momentum just a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's a hard landing every time. So he was doubling or tripling? He was doubling every yeah. time. Though. Yeah, I'll try that this next time. Yeah, just be careful. Yeah, because it goes high. High and this little sketch before it. Yeah. back started flaring up again on me a little bit so I was like ah oh, just wait till tomorrow that's why I kind of rolled around yeah. and then I was gonna do a couple fast laps but as soon as I got messed up I was like yeah, you gotta have stretch. it pretty perfect because yeah. I had a couple decent ones I mean considering we had two or three days notice I feel like we're pretty solid right now <laughs> you know what I mean it's good man those gates are weird they like ramp up and then they drop off like when they drop they're not flat they're like this they're literally like a takeoff yeah? yeah. That session was definitely better. We went from a 52 sprocket to a 53 sprocket just because in some of those corners when you're in second and you're kind of coming as like is like lugging a little bit or maybe if I was in third it would lug a little bit. So we went to 53. That helped. Uh, and we went a little bit stiffer on the rear shock because I was coming in. So specifically off the finish line when you land, you like you come down a pretty steep landing into a G out that goes straight and it bounces and then bounces into the corner. So that was better. And I just need to stand to be honest. Qualifying two, I think we were P5. And that was just free practice, so that wasn't legitimate qualifying. So we'll go after him tomorrow. <laughs> it's race day here in Paris. Paris. And how are you feeling? Feel pretty good. Just had breakfast. Uh, got a good, nice rest. It's time to party on, baby. It's time to get this party started. What's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. I don't know anything in French besides bonjour, so <laughs> let's go have some fun. <laughs> Time to get this party started, boys. kind of hopping in the corners. I couldn't tell if it was packing or if it was going too fast, but I decided to go faster and it made it a little bit better. Got those quick laps in at the beginning, tried a couple more and I, little mistakes, I'm just like, man, the track's not faster. And then my back started like getting there, I'm like, nope, not worth it, let's save it all for the races. I don't know, maybe a two or three hour break and then time to race. Dude, we are just trying to find food. We just got done with qualifying. We're just P trying to find P something P3. to eat. P3, P3, yeah, P3, P3, by the way, P3. P3. Pick one for a little bit, whatever it is. A couple laps. When it comes to like race day, like even if it's McDonald's, I know what I'm getting into instead of buying food that I don't know what's in it, what's it gonna taste like, that kind of deal. So we're just trying to hit up McDonald's, get a couple like grilled chicken uh, wraps or whatever, something like that. And there's a two hour line. You guys just saw that, like I don't understand how they do the COVID testing because First lady that was there when we very first got here got her test. Hit our brain. Hit our, hit our <laughs> brain, bro. Way up in there. That dude just went. Mm, mm. Like, what is? Why? What? What's the difference? Why do you have to go so far up if it also gets the same result if you barely go in there? Like, it, it's 
That's what makes me think that it's all, dude, it's all just moolah. Obviously goes towards points and your gate pick for the next one. So you'll add up all three of your races. It's going to be consistency through those three races that gets an overall. So that's how it works, and we're going up for Moto One. Oh, my God. 